Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner. Today we're going to be back on the cruiser build, so stay tuned and uh, we're going to start working on putting together all of the controls. All right, guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, like I said, today we're going to be going ahead and we're going to start working on uh, trying to get some of the controls uh, built um, and uh, just temporarily built, make sure I have everything correct. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get those prepped for uh, paint. We're going to prime them, paint them, uh, before we go ahead and do the final installation of all of the controls here in the airframe. Uh, the other small things that I do need to finish up here, uh, up in the front, You'll notice that the three uh, stiffeners here, including the one right down on the bottom, the one on the bottom is not completed yet because I was waiting on the parts. Uh, those are now in, so I'll be able to get that started as well. Uh, I did order a little bit of uh, some extra aluminum sheets. Uh, one for the uh, panel here. We're going to be building a uh, avionics shelf uh, up there in the front section. Uh, we're also going to be doing a modification to the panel here. Uh, I think I'm going to make two separate panels, uh, so I bought a little bit thicker aluminum uh, than this, uh, just the, the one size up, um, and then we're going to cut that out and uh, we're going to put nut plates, and I'm going to have a support down the middle section here, uh, is what I'm, I'm thinking, that's what I'm leaning towards, we'll see how that all fits. Um, but uh, we're going to add nut plates around here, around here, and we're going to be able to put a panel here that's going to be modular. Um, so that'll be the plan for that. Won't be getting to that today, uh, but uh, just as an FYI, that might be coming up soon here, uh, working on something of that sort, uh, or on that panel there. Um, pretty soon we're going to be getting to the part where we're going to be getting all of this uh, painted uh, in the olive drab. So we're going to have to be making my garage turn it into a paint booth again uh similar to when i was painting my uh, rc airplanes um for one of them it would be the uh uh the super chipmunk here uh made a paint booth in here to do that so uh that that will work out nicely uh and then we're gonna be getting pretty darn close to uh prepping the fuselage here for final paint uh in that olive drab uh so that'll be exciting uh, we do still have to finish up the nose wheel. There's no support here on this nose wheel yet. It's not fully installed, but most of it has been mocked up, so it's just doing the final assembly of that. So that shouldn't take too long to get that all taken care of. Uh, as we all know, the main gear are installed uh, on the aircraft. And uh, yeah, everything else is looking really nice here, back here on the fuselage. So we're going to go ahead and get started, guys. Um, probably be a time lapse and uh, either might be in the corner over here uh if not uh then we'll uh go ahead and stop whenever we need to to discuss uh what's going on on the build so uh with that let's get to work hey guys so it's the next day here at joe's rc corner and today we're going to be working again on the uh zenith cruiser uh for today uh i want to go through a little bit of what i got completed uh yesterday um in that time lapse that that you might have seen uh, so we want to go ahead and just take a quick look, see what we got done, because we, uh, we're working on the controls basically right now. Um, so as you can see, we've, uh, we're on the next section here uh, where we're, we're putting together this front flange that's holding the uh, control uh, stick, um, I guess it's the torque tube, uh, in the, uh, the center channel here. So I've gotten most of this completed here. Uh, and I'd also already drilled the start-in holes that need to be opened up to the final rivet side for the uh, aluminum angles on either side of this piece. Uh, we've also got it all trial fitted, but we do have to drill these holes still for the AN hardware to go in and uh, then do the final assembly, but we're not going to rivet these in place yet. Well, I may, I may actually get this part assembled and finally final installed the the riveted parts but not this this part is going to be bolted in later because i have to pull all of this out because these need to be painted uh primed painted uh before final assembly and then greased of course um 
But then we're going to move on. We are going to move on to the next step of getting... I already did those. Uh, and let's see. I don't have the push rods going up to the top yet. So we may get those uh, prepped and, uh, and set up. And then we're going to start the elevator controls. So let me show you what we got so far, guys. There we go. Now we got some light. All right. So as you can see, we have the, uh, the um, uh, flapper on uh, servo motor is now installed. Um, not permanent yet because I do want to repaint this. Because of the color scheme change in the aircraft, uh, I'm not happy with that being white anymore. Uh, all of these control rods are going to be painted in black. Uh, so we're going to be taking all of this out uh, and, and painting all of this uh, and then putting it back for final install after this whole cabin area is then painted. Uh, now I don't believe I'm going to be doing much paint back in here. Uh, may leave that just the, the uh, primer, which is fine. They're not going to see any of that because the panels are going to be in this area. Now, anything up here in the front section, uh, I may just go back and prime the inside of this channel, uh, leave that as is, or I may paint that. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I'll have to think about that because it depends on how much I want to get this, how much I want to get done here uh, and installed for the final. So, uh, like I said, so none of this is final installed. Still need to get the brace in that goes back here that supports that tail, the back end of that. So we're going to work on that as well. So we do have quite a bit of work to get done today. <clears throat> and then if there's time today, I'm going to be pulling the firewall off so that I can start working on getting the uh, mock-up of the rudder pedals so I can get those prepped, painted, and reinstalled. Hey guys, welcome back. And I uh, just wanted to go ahead and show you what we got completed today. We got a pretty good chunk done here on the flight controls. Um, we still have to work on the rudder pedals. Did not get to that this weekend, but uh, I did go ahead and we did finish up the pitch and roll uh, uh, linkage just up here in the front. Uh, don't have the linkage going up on the sides yet, but we do have the linkage all uh, connected to the control sticks and also to the back here. So uh, let me go ahead and turn the camera around and uh, let you guys take a look and see what we got done. Uh, but basically the next steps after this is uh, I got to disassemble all of this now and uh, pull it all apart, uh, prep it for uh, primer, and then I'm going to go ahead and just prime these parts. I'm not going to paint them because uh, most of it is all going to be down underneath, not going to be seen, uh, so I'm not too concerned about it. And plus it's going to be in that uh, the green uh, etched primer anyway, so it should be protected. Uh, from corrosion and from rust and keep these parts from uh, getting damaged. So go ahead and let me turn the camera around. We'll take a look. Okay, guys. So uh, as you can see, we have all of the linkage is now uh, all connected. Uh, we have the, uh, if you move the stick, you see that the bell cranks both move in the opposite direction, which is correct. Uh, pitch, that's the bell crank for the uh, pulley cables that are going to be going towards the tail for the elevator. Uh, and then the push rods still need to be installed, of course, in the uh, connected to these. So, uh, but in the meantime, since everything is more or less uh, prepped and ready, we're going to go ahead and pull all this apart. We're going to prime it and then reinstall it with, uh, of course, we're going to grease all these uh, uh, joints here. Make sure everything is greased up nicely, uh, so the freedom of movement. And then we're going to go ahead and get all this in here finalized and uh, mounted. Um, I was going to go ahead and repaint that. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Uh, we'll see what happens. It's going to be underneath the airplane, underneath the uh, the baggage uh, floor. Not really that concerned about it. I mean, it was bugging me because I'll know that it's that color, but uh, really, does it make a difference? Not really. So. Uh, it is still protected, it's painted, so we should be fine. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get all of this taken apart now. Uh, you can see I got my rear support right there for the, uh, torque, rod, torque, uh, uh, for the torque rod there. Um, so that's all done. Uh, that'll have to be pulled back out again. It's just uh, clear coat in place. So we'll pull that out um, so we can pull all of this out and get this all primed and painted. Now this was painted, but I am going to go ahead and just do another coat of that uh, hammered metal paint on there just to give it a, a nice new fresh coat because I did have the uh, handles on there backwards, so I've got to get those fixed. 
Uh, one thing that I noticed down here, uh, I am missing a castle nut down there. So I'm going to have to order one uh, so that way I can get that uh, in place properly. We're going to end up pulling out those ri those uh, Clecos down there and getting that uh, the center section riveted in place uh, down underneath. Uh, then we can get this riveted in place as well and get it finalized and torqued. Everything good to go. Uh, that has already been primed, so most of that's not going to come out. Uh, but we do have to get that center console made up here uh, that's going to go in the center section. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do mo much of that yet because I still need to get those rudder cables attached and fished through. So, but so uh, like I said, guys, so that's all we got done for for this week. Uh, hope you go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video when we uh, get the rudder pedals uh, installed. And um, the next video, we'll also go over some of the avionics that are coming in, uh, let you guys kind of see what we have. So I'll set it up here on the bench uh, and uh, we'll take a look at them. So uh, without further ado, guys, uh, that's going to be the end of the video for this week. Uh, make sure, you, uh, like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button if you like what you see. And uh, share the video with friends and family. I'm almost at 1,000 uh, subscribers, so I really appreciate everybody's support. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.